At this point, I am dying to go out on vacation. To travel to other parts of the world where I could only dream of going to. As someone who likes traveling lately in general, I have a little gadget that can deliver on physical memories at an affordable price. And this is the Polaroid Snap. Exactly the tool I was looking for, for when I finally get the chance to go out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive in. For more great content just like this, and just make sure to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Also, leave a like and a comment down below with all of your thoughts on this video. And while you're at it, I always leave affiliate links down below in the description as well. But make sure that you check out Lusterville so you can find the best deals on all of that tech that you're shopping for. It's a simple browser extension that helps you make the best purchasing decision. And lastly, don't forget to check out my merch store if you're into some monochrome clothing like everything I'm wearing right here. So with that said, links to everything down below. Well, let's go ahead and start off with an unboxing. Yeah, the packaging itself is actually quite nice already. And tearing it apart, you will find a small box containing a micro USB cable and other little accessories, including a lanyard. But the main spectacle here is going to be the Polaroid itself, which in spite of its much smaller size than your typical Polaroid camera was larger than I was definitely expecting. I ended up going for the matte black model for aesthetic reasons, and I think it looks pretty awesome. And it's not really the strongest build of all time, because it is just plastic, but it's matte lightweight plastic with a surprisingly sturdy glossy boarding that looks pretty modern in my opinion. I've actually got a red shutter button right on top and a, and a power slash a 10 second counter, a viewfinder, a framed mode, and a color mode. And on the right, you're going to find a micro SD card slot for saving all of your images uh, digitally and a micro USB port for charging. And on the left, there's going to be a spot for your pictures to come out of. On the bottom, there is a tripod mount and on the back, we've got the slot for inserting your film. And the setup process here is going to be incredibly simple. All you have to do is just load your film onto the back panel of this camera and that's pretty much it. It is very nice and simple to take care of. And the image quality from this camera is really honestly just fine like whether you're taking a monochrome pictures or the most saturated that this camera is actually capable of printing uh, the pictures are reasonably sharp though any slight bits of movement can actually blur everything up from my experience however a film has a sticky back to it which means that you can hang these up pretty easily and frankly i didn't buy this for a super crisp some of images. If I wanted that, I would just use my phone or one of my four cameras. Instead, I just really wanted this for the physical prints and the physical memories that I hope to keep a hold of and actually hang up on my wall from any future endeavors. And that is essentially the entire purpose of it, even if it's not the most beautiful of images. And battery life is going to be pretty good here. And thankfully, it is actually going to be rechargeable. So you're not going to have to deal with replaceable batteries or anything like that. Like you don't have to swap them all the time at all. It, it is all going to be completely rechargeable, which I really appreciate. And now I don't have exact battery metrics. However, I haven't had an issue with battery life here. No. Like as long as you leave it charging pretty much, uh, for just a little while after using it pretty much all day i think you'll be fine and that you won't really have to worry about the battery life at all the only complaints i can actually think of for this is that like considering its age it does have a micro usb port instead of usb c but that can't be helped and it's honestly fine i suppose however it would be nice if it did have it and i wish i could fit just a little more film inside as you can film only just a few. I don't even know exactly how many you can like fit inside, but I would say that maybe like around eight or 10 at once. And that is a little bit disappointing. I wish I could put in more just so that I don't have to carry around more film with me when I'm traveling. But beyond that, I've got mostly praise for this cool little gadget, if I'm completely honest. And it's not perfect, but it's only around 80 bucks. And I think it's going to be a very valuable tool when I get to go on those trips that I have planned with my friends and with my family at some point soon. And if you're looking for a pocketable version of, of the Polaroid, then this is exactly what you're looking for. So with that said, strongly recommend it. So take this on your well-deserved vacation. And if you're interested in purchasing this product, then, then I'll be making sure to leave a few links to camera itself and extra film and a couple of other accessories and that sort of thing, as well as links to Luster in case you need 
any kind of help comparing any other products to this or looking at other types of alternatives and that sort of thing, Luster is just going to do all of the comparing for you and it helps you look for sales as well. So with that said, all of these links are going to be down below. And if you use any of them, I do get a small commission that does help me run things just a little bit more smoothly around here. So if you were to use those, I would appreciate that quite a bit. And also, if you're interested in the most relaxing streams on earth, then do make sure to stop by my Twitch channel. The like to stream has some pretty chill music. I want to just like getting the opportunity to talk to you guys. And I would love to answer any questions that you might have over there. So with that said, links to that below as well as links to my Twitter and my Instagram if you would like to keep up with even more stuff. So with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy!